Well, welcome back to Enter the Kitchen. Now, we are here at Crypto's restaurant in the kitchen, and we're about to prepare a Grecian delicacy. This is the moussaka. Uh, now, there are different types of moussakas from different areas. There's a Turkish variation, a Serbian moussaka, uh, a Bulgarian version as well. But today, we're focusing on the Greek version, which uh, Chef Ganesh is about to tell us a little bit about. Uh, so now the staple ingredients, we have eggplant, we have potatoes. What else, Chef? What goes uh, into your masala? This is zucchini, mm -hmm. uh, which is called uh, kuget in uh, UK. Okay. In English it's called kuget, but it's called zucchini. Mm -hmm. There's the yellow squash. Yum, yum, yum. It's already marinated and grilled. Okay. Uh, now this is how it uh, looks like after grilling, the eggplant. Okay. Zucchini, the squash, Sauteed. okay, and uh, normal potatoes. Mm -hmm. It's also sliced, marinated, and grilled. Beautiful. And of course, and of course key ingredients: lamb, lamb, minced mm -hmm. lamb, minced lamb, tomato concasse, okay, chopped onion, garlic, and normal herbs. Okay, and, and, and the seasoning. Spices, seasoning. Okay, so moussaka essentially it's a layered sort of a dish. Yeah, right? it's almost so like a uh, lasagna uh -huh. without the pasta. Yes. Just exactly. vegetables and meat. Mm -hmm. mm, that sounds actually so delicious. Okay, so what's the first step, chef? Start with olive oil. Of course, we always start with olive oil. Olive oil. Chopped onion. Brown onion, okay. like you normally do for the uh, Yeah. Here you're just, just unleashing the sweat flavor. It. Sweat the onion. Okay. And add some red wine. Red wine. Red wine. Mm. That's pretty. And those are lamb. Add the lamb meat. Okay. Let that absorb all the flavors. Yeah. Saute them without any lumps. Okay. The lamb is inside to make sure it's on a slow fire. Mm -hmm. So we're just lightly browning the lamb. Yeah, actually, okay. we're rendering the fat. Okay. Just to cook nicely. A little bit of tomato paste. That gives you a little bit of color. And also from the red wine, now you can see the color has changed. Mm. Now goes a little bit of salt. Crushed pepper, mm -hmm. chopped mint, mint again. Yeah. Chopped parsley. Yeah. Seasoning. Cinnamon powder. Star anise powder. Mm -hmm. Some dry oregano. Wonderfully exotic blend of spices you're using as a base. That's what's really, really lovely about food like this is just the freshness of the herbs and the vegetables and the meat. What's next, Chef? Uh, now we need to cool down the mixture. Okay. The next part is, is putting the layers on. Alright. And now begins the layering. So, uh, so you grease the bowl okay. with a little bit of olive oil. Right. So this is where all of the ingredients of the moussaka are going to come together. Yes. In this little bowl. This is the bread crumb. Okay. Just line a little bit of bread crumb on the sides. It's basically because it doesn't stick to the side. Mm -hmm. And if you have to demold it, it comes nicely out. Okay. And in the bottom layer, there is a kankase. Mm -hmm. kankase. Tomato kankase is nothing but blanched tomatoes, peeled, the seeds are taken out, and you just chop it up. Okay. Heat up with some olive oil, mm -hmm. salt. Yeah. The bottom layer. And the bottom layer is mm -hmm. the eggplant. This you've just sautéed in olive oil. Yes, it's marinated in olive oil, salt, pepper, okay. and the herbs. Okay. 
Actually, uh, before that, it has to be soaked in uh, salted water okay. for at least half an hour. Uh -huh. Then the, it is taken out, it is drained, mm -hmm. then it is marinated and grilled. Okay. Hot Excellent. And cheese. Cheese. What sort of cheese are we oh, it's using? It's mozzarella. Ah, so now this is one of the key characteristics of the Grecian moussaka, is the bechamel sauce bechamel that's used. Sauce. Dash. And next goes the zucchini. Zucchini and the squash. Mm -hmm. And some more cheese. Of course. Mozzarella. And now goes the, the lamb mixture, mm -hmm. which is already done. So, as a vegetarian, you could just not use the lamb. And substitute yeah. it with more eggplant. Yes. But we, of course, want the lamb because that's how it's authentically made. You can't miss out on the lamb. And then it was some more cheese. <laughs> okay. That makes me happy. <laughs> and the potatoes. Another layer of eggplant. More okay. uh, eggplant is also in a uh, uh, and vegetable, mm -hmm. so it's not wrong in adding an extra. Why not? It's already covered. Okay. Finally. Uh, finally. White sauce on top. gratinated look. Mm. So, uh, and you can add some parmesan finally on top. Parmesan, parmesan cheese. Parmesan. Okay. So this is going to go in the oven. Yes. Uh, yum. Okay, we're done. There you have it. Just a few more minutes in the oven and it'll be ready. Bake in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay. And our moussaka is now out of the oven and looking simply sumptuous and ready for a big bite by moi. Look at that, look at that cheese. Oh wow. Layer after layer of succulent deliciousness. Oh my gosh. Chef, this is an overload of flavor. This looks amazing. I'm trying to get every layer in there, it's a bit tough. Yes. A little bit of the courgette, a little and bit of the squash. Just drop in this plate and then you can taste yes. it. Yes. It's still hot because we've just, just taken it out of the oven. Mm. Wow. Well, I'm literally, it? I'm speechless. <laughs> Thank you for uh, opening up the world of Greek food for us today, Welcome. Kryptos. It was a lovely day, delicious day. I think I'll be back again very soon, if you don't mind. Please, please come on down with us. For more moussaka. And you guys at home better tune in next week to Enter the Kitchen. We will be exploring more culinary delights and teaching you how to make them. I will see you then.